Howdy y'all and welcome to AKA R80's Live. Guess where we are? At South Fork Ranch in Dallas where they filmed Dallas. And we had a special invite from J.R. Ewing to <laughs> come out here and tour the place so we had to take them up on that offer. <laughs> sure. Um, they also have a museum with some memorabilia from the show. As you guys probably know, it was one of the longest running TV shows and it was very popular all through the 80s. And the big question was always, who shot JR? Who shot JR? <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna go in here and find out. And I think we're gonna get to see the gun that actually did shoot JR in the show. So let's go and check it out. for our tour we're in the little museum look you guys here's the gun the gun used to shoot jr okay we are on the ride vehicle you can see we're getting pulled by a tractor now we're gonna go over to the the ranch we just left the visitor center we're gonna go over to the actual house Check out the ranch. Go see JR's place. <laughs> Did everybody want to go Dallas? Nope. Yeah. yeah. All good. It takes the pressure off me a little bit. All right. Uh, my name is Wilson, and I'm going to give you a ride. Yes, girls, my name is Wilson. My last name is also Wilson. That's right, Wilson Wilson. <laughs> my mom's a damn comedian. <laughs> That's where the Ewings used to have breakfast every morning. We're gonna go in that mansion and our tour guide's gonna give you a tour all through the mansion. Okay, when Mr. Mon bought, this used to be the Duncan Boys Playroom. When he bought the property, he put in the, le the three th about $30,000 into wallpaper. Look at this wallpaper. What is this? What is this? Leather. Yes, it is leather. <laughs> That's expensive to put on a wall. The four chairs he found in the, in the uh, uh, barn distress them even further, and then he put pony hide on the back of those chairs. Across the hall is Ellie's kitchen, the only room that's duplicated on the set in California because it had an island in the center.
Those of you who live in South Fork, this is your backyard here. 340 acres, which goes down to gate six, down on the south side. Uh, but the, lawn, the barbecues were all held out there on the left on the lawn. And then John Ross, Jr., and Bobby got married a couple times over there on the gazebo. So they would film about this time, which is almost 4 o'clock, you know, a little after 4. If you're filming somebody in bed, I don't care what they're doing. There are a lot of shadows involved, so you have to have a lot of light. So the directors would have lights everywhere, and then they would get right on top of them to film. And if they wanted JR to get out of bed, or whoever was laying here to get out of bed, they'd say, okay, JR, get out of bed so I can film you. Well, two or three in the afternoon, these people were usually lit by then. Remember how much I told you they drank? So now you can see Jr. he's got to get out of bed after all the activity here. And so he gets out and he stumbles down these rafters, and it got to be very problematic. We're here at the burial site of Jr. and Jock and Eleanor. This is the Ewing family graveyard. Of course, it's only for prop, but it's cute. They have it out here behind the house, and um, that's it. <laughs> It's about all I have hey, to say. Really for JR? This is the only deal he ever lost. <laughs> South Fork Ranch is beautiful. It is, and it's really actually pretty close to the city. I mean, you just drive a little ways. I remember when I was a kid, we would drive out here to see South Fork where they filmed Dallas, and it always seemed like it was way out in the country, and as the city has grown bigger and further north and east, it's kind of blended in almost with the city. Yeah. I mean, we are in the country, but not really. There's like suburbs around and stuff like that. It's very beautiful though. It's really cool being on a movie set, seeing where you know some of these stars from yesteryears <laughs> had their days of glory. <laughs> Larry Hagman, Patrick Duffy. I mean, we were pretty young when the show was on and Keith will admit he didn't really watch it. Yeah, I, I knew they were, but I really didn't watch the show. I really didn't get into that. But it was really funny that there were some people on our tour that were tour that were super fans. There were, they knew all the names of the characters. They knew the plot and everything. Um, and actually most of the people on our tour were from other countries. Yeah, yeah. Like it was really popular. Um, really worldwide it was like I think she said it was like in 55 different languages and syndication so this was a very popular TV show yeah, pretty impressive yeah well hopefully you enjoyed the tour of South Fork Ranch as much as we did if you are in the area you should definitely come the tour guides are super nice hilarious. she was a total hoot um, and it's really pretty out here and it was definitely worth checking it out Thanks for watching. If you hadn't already, be sure and subscribe. Hit that like button below. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. From South Fork Ranch. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw.